Hey everyone, it's Keely here and today I'm sharing a process video for UK scrap addicts. Now our theme this month is to use more than one collection. Now I find mixing collections really difficult. Um, I've kind of got stuck in this like rut of only sticking with you know everything for a certain collection rather than actually diving into my stash and getting things used up. Um, now I actually thought I'd find this really difficult but once I got started, um, which I started with um, pulling out all my collections <clears throat> and all the bits and pieces I had um, from Chamel collections. Now some of these I've got in kits, um, some I've actually bought myself um, from um, different scrappy stores. Um, so that's what I started with first. Um, and my idea was because they were all from the, the same designer, I thought the colours would match really well. Now this is something that I find difficult with mixing collections. Now unless I get a kit where um, someone else has kind of picked everything to match, uh, which I used to subscribe to Man Scrap Kits. Now I used to find that quite easy to mix collections because Emma used to pick uh, various different things and they all matched really, really well. Um, but when I tried doing that myself, um, it doesn't seem to work as well. Um, so anyway, my plan was to obviously pull out all these Chamel collections, which I have um, a six by six paper pad from Little by Little. I had some bits and pieces from Head in the Clouds. Um, I've got quite a lot of box of cranes left and Field Trip, which um, I bought uh, a couple of months ago. Um, and um, once, like I said, once I got started, I actually found it quite easy, um, and it was quite fun pulling in all different bits and pieces from from all these different collections. And um, like I said, because they were all from the same designer, they did work really well. Um, so I've matted my photo with various different pattern papers um, some of those are from little by little um, some are from field trip some are from box of crayons and in fact I used um, the back of one of the box of crayons papers which I knew I wouldn't really use um, and I because it had a white back I used that to map my photo just to get it used up um, and I also pulled in a pattern paper from um, I think it's called Boy or Boy. I bought um a pack of boy papers from um Rebecca from her shop. Um, so they all you know I just searched for certain colours that all work well together. <coughs> um, now I've got some embellishments there from Box of Crayons. The um the crayon. There's a floral piece and also um, a die cut frame. Um, the um, circle embellishment at the top, which looks like one of them um, spirograph circles, um, is from Field Trip. Um, and I'm just sticking that to the top. And I decided as well whilst I was making this, usually I kind of lay everything out and I kind of just went for it and just started sticking things down. Um, and committing more or less straight away. Uh, this camera here, I'm just cutting off the um, the white border. Um, I found it was quite thick and it just made it stand out a little bit too much. So I just trimmed that down a little bit. And this is from um, Head in the Clouds. And I do stick that down and I think I come to move it because I wanted to um, pop in a few hearts and things and it didn't leave me much space to do that. So I moved that over a little bit in a second. Uh, these red hearts are from a Pebbles collection. I got them in a Mind the Scrap kit um, quite a while ago now. Um, and they were like a Valentine's theme collection 
Um, but some of the, the words on the hearts work well with um, just, you know, normal, cutesy, everyday things. And um, and the red, you know, the, the pop of red was perfect for this, this layout because it had the red in the um, background paper. And now uh, this is where I got um, quite confident and started pulling out lots of things from my stash. Um, again, these hearts here, these blue ones are from uh, the Indigo and Ivy collection. Um, I got those in a Mind the Scrap kit. Just moving a few things around again. I moved that blue heart again soon. Um, and I pop a red one there, which I think I do that off camera actually. I just felt like they needed to be another pop of that red. <coughs> and now these yellow hearts are from an Amy Tan collection. Um, I think as well they were from a Mind the Scrap kit. So I'm really diving into stash here and you know using little bits of things up. Um, yeah, I had changed the red heart off camera. So now I'm coming in with my title. Um, and I titled this layout Seesaw uh, because uh, the four toys of Darcy and my nephew, um, we was at a toddler group um, and they, were play they play so well together, even now they play really well together and they were playing on the seesaw. Um, and I felt like it needed something near the the start of the title so i'm looking through um uh, this little part here of um things that i'd fussy cut from the field trip collection um and i pick out the little red book which again adds um another pop of red um these are die cuts from head in the clouds um i don't think i pull anything from there and these are the die cuts from field trip and i don't think i use anything from these either <clears throat> um, in fact I used the blue heart that I've moved around on the page quite a number of times which is from Box of Crayons and I'm going to stick those down now <clears throat> so yeah I really do give this a try um, I've really surprised myself um, I really enjoyed mixing up all these different collections far more than I thought I would um, here's some close up um, please do share with us on the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group um, things that you make this month mixing collections. Thank you for watching. Bye.